What's up guys? It's Colton Lindsay. Welcome to the WGR Academy Facebook group where I answer live questions for you. I actually got a question the other day about how is it that I stayed mentally strong and became successful from early on in my career to where I'm at today. And the reality is, is it's a repetitive skill set that I had to develop every single day. So let me ask you a question. How often do you maybe feel some frustration or some irritation or some impatience or some challenges inside of your business or your life? If you've experienced that before, put a yes in the comments whether you're watching this live or replay. And if you don't put a yes in the comments and you're watching this, it means your head is up your ass because everyone faces these challenges every single day. Yesterday, I was flying out to uh, Ranch Cucamon to be on Danny Morrell's uh, podcast. If you guys don't know Danny Morrell, he's a super cool guy. And when I got there to land, the freaking plane goes like this because we've got 45 miles an hour winds and the pilot takes off, clear up, accelerates. Next thing I know, they said we're landing in Palm Springs. I literally get on a freaking plane and I fly back to Salt Lake. So it was like five hours of travel in turbulence for to just go there and back. Right? And so that's frustrating, that's crap, it knocks me off course, but that's when I have a choice to choose what I'm going to do. So earlier on in my career, I started doing and creating powerful beliefs inside of my mind. I realized that no one else was going to do it for me and I had to rip it open from my core. One of the things that I did was I've trained myself this for years is to get refocused by doing RPMs. So on the plane ride after I meditated, I went to my journal, I said, what is the outcome I want to achieve? throughout the rest of the day. What's going to be a win for me? What's a victory that I know I can go create? And my number one value is health and vitality. Anytime I exercise or I eat healthy or I drink water or I breathe or I focus on my breathing, these are ways that I can create more health and vitality. An exact moment I got off the plane, I got a text message from a good friend of mine named uh, Rob Andre over at Remax Real Estate. He said, hey, you want to go train with me? He's amazing. He's Mr. Utah. He's freaking a fit dude. And I said, yes, that's exactly what I do. I want to go work out with someone that's going to level me, level me up even more at the gym. And I'm telling you the story because it has, it has a purpose behind it. Once I showed up into the gym, I realized that, that Rob was out of his game mentally that day. And he had some challenges inside of his business. And now I had the opportunity to strengthen myself even more by lifting up another person. I want you to write this down. I support others and I allow others to support me. It's a back and forth thing. That's why community is so important. That's why I recommend you go get started in the prospecting lines. Get in a community that's going to help strengthen your mindset. And so through the conversations that I talked to him about, I want you guys to be aware of it. When it's not landing at the airport that you're supposed to learn at, when it's having a challenge in your business, when it's cash flow, it's down, when it's you're having some sort of thing knock you off course, that's the time that the pain is there to strengthen you. The pain is there to strengthen you, but mentally you have to make a choice. Am I going to step up or am I going to step out? So how did I get to that point where when that time happens, that I have to make that choice to step up or step out, that I make the choice to step up, that I make the, the choice to succeed with essence and joy. Every single day, I focus on writing my targets. What do I want to create in my life, my show, my reality, my existence, my time here on earth? And I remind myself of that vision and I get fucking hungry for it. I feed that burning desire. I stoke that fire right here. Because if I'm not intentionally doing it every single day, no one else is going to do it for me or for you. You've got to stoke your own fire right here. The other thing that I do is I get immensely excited and full of gratitude. I used to be grateful for the stuff and for the things, for the house, for the car, for the money and all this. And that will you know, be a benefit for me. But ultimately, I'm more thankful for the people that have loved me and supported me and have created so much value for me along the way. The people that have been there from day one when I was born on this earth, my parents, my sister, my grandparents, the people that love me and support me today, my mastermind partners. I literally get absorbed in this emotion. And when I get focused on this emotion, it eradicates the bullshit that comes in our head, the conversation and the story that's up here. And then I get grateful that I fucking exist. I want you to think about that for one second. You had a one in 400 trillion chance that your sperm was the winner and that you exist here. You're part of 7.5 billion people that float on a planet in the middle of outer space. It's freaking incredible. It's insane. When you can find that attitude of gratitude for your mere existence, now all of a sudden, all the crap that you're worried about, running out of money or deals falling apart or not being able to duplicate my business or all of the challenges that I'm facing or my flight not landing, hell, I'm just grateful that I landed. 
let alone didn't crash inside of Rancho Cucamonga over side of Danny's uh, office, right? I'm just grateful that I landed and was able to fly. And I said this, I said this to Rob. I said, dude, Rob, I'm just grateful that you freaking have a house to live with and you have a wife to go home to. And you have an awesome daughter to meet with and you've got an awesome business. Might be a downtime right now, but ultimately you are crushing it. You're making more money than 98% of the realtors out there today. When we can change this attitude every single day, consciously create this energy from the inside. It's got to come from your core. You've got to find it in your core. Stop looking outside. Stop going to any other thing besides what's right in here and speak that voice. When you can do that, money will flow to you in avalanches of abundance. You will be blessed. Money will find you. And what you'll find out is money is not real. It's make-believe. It's imaginary. But what is real is what you're focusing on, what you're creating, what you're going after. What's the flag on the hill for you? Are you focused on it? And are you okay to understand that even though you've got a plan and a map to follow, you might not be able to get there with that exact step-by-step -step program. You might have to shift gears just a little bit because your plane landed in another airport. See what I'm going with? Go to prospectingalliance.com, get signed up, get a part of my community because I want to help you light it up. Your, your success, it's going to be 10% skill set. It's going to be 10% uh, technology. It's going to be 10% how you do it and your strategies. It's going to be 90% what you can rip open right here in the core and the decisions you can make when the times are tough because times are going to be challenging throughout your business. It's not when you're on your peak that you're most stoked. It's when you're in the basement that you've got to stoke that fire up and get it heated. That's when you've got to do it. Thanks for being here.